It started as a call of a possible active shooter at a Mesquite High School, but there was no shooter or gun. Tonight, a student, though, still faces a criminal charge for holding a cell phone like one. And our J.D. Miles is live at Terry Middle School to talk more about this. Kaylee, Mesquite police say there's a big difference between pointing your finger and saying stick him up here and doing it on school property. A 13-year-old student who police say pretended to have a gun found that out the hard way and now faces possible jail time. Mesquite police swarmed Terry Middle School on Friday within minutes of a call reporting gunfire in a nearby field. Witnesses saw someone outside the school walking toward them who appeared to be pointing a gun. Police determined it was a student who was holding a cell phone like one. If they imply to another student that they have a gun, and in that implication that student is fearful, then that's a violation of his law. Police arrested the 13-year-old student who they say admitted his intent to alarm others. He's facing a seldom seen criminal charge related to school security that prohibits any threat of having a gun on any property owned by a school or a school bus. Oftentimes when you have a threat like this, that's the first step. And, and we've learned from previous shootings that, that if we see that first step, we see that first indication, if we ignore it, then we could have a tragedy on our hands. You know, law enforcement cannot take a chance and simply assume that you're waving a cell phone or a plastic gun. A local criminologist agrees with the zero tolerance approach Mesquite police took in this case. Is how many body bags is it gonna take for us to be able to recognize that we need to be proactive versus reactive? Mesquite police tell us students in this city are taught this so they shouldn't, they should know better, this shouldn't come as a surprise. Now the charge that the student faces comes with a possible sentence of up to a year to up to 10 years in jail, which is a pretty serious penalty and certainly a message that's going to get out to other students around here. Live in Mesquite, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. All right, J.D., thank you very much.